Solving a linear equation can sometimes be a tricky task if you're not really sure how to approach it. With any linear equation, usually we have two goals in mind. The first goal is to get all of our x's together so that we only have one to work with. And our second goal is to make sure that that x is completely isolated. So in the e example that I've cooked up below, you can see that I have lots of x's running around. Let's first work on getting them together and then hopefully isolate them later on. One thing that can really help this is if you have these x's stuck inside parentheses, feel free to distribute so that you can work with them a little bit better. So here's a 9x minus 36 plus a 3x plus 6 equals 5x plus 8. Okay, perfect. So notice now I can take this guy, combine it with the 3x, and eventually move it to the other side. All right, let's combine the terms that we can. So I see an x and an x. So that'll be a negative 6x. Looks like I also have a negative 36 and a positive 6. So we'll put those guys together. Negative 30. All right, that's looking pretty good, but we still haven't gotten all of our x's together. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to add a 6x to both sides. All right, looks like we're pretty much home free. I now only have a single x in the equation. So I've satisfied my first goal, let's move on to the second. I want to make sure that this x is completely by itself on one side of the equation. That means I'm going to need to move over this 8. So negative 38. And finally divide both sides by 11. There we are. So our final answer for this is a negative 38 all divided by 11. Since there is only one value that makes this true, we would consider this a conditional equation. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.